after watching Tick Tick Boom, which I thought was alright but not that great, I did make the promise to myself to watch Rent. It has been on my radar for quite a while, primarily because I'm a big musicals fan and I would be a pretty terrible musicals fan if I didn't at least give it a chance. So I decided to watch it and I can honestly say it was okay. I I know I'm going to get a lot of people jumping down my throat and saying that I should think it's the best thing ever and certainly I think it does some really good work but honestly for me it's not my kind of music in a musical. I wasn't really engaged with any of the characters it was just a little bit too dark for my preference as well. Which again, that's the narrative, that's the theme, that works well, and they did that well. But I don't really like dark musicals. With the exception of Les Mis, because Les Mis is life goals. And I guess Sweeney Todd, if you could call that dark. Of course it's dark, but it's not depressing. This one, um, I won't go into too much about what it's about, because I don't want to spoil too much. Um, but this was... Uh, it's a rock musical with music lyrics and the book as well by Jonathan Larson. Larson is, of course, the subject of the biopic Tick, Tick, Boom. And, you know, part of me when I was watching Tick, Tick, Boom, I, I think I mentioned this in my review, I thought, I wonder if I'd seen Rent and kind of knew his background and kind of what he went on to create and the tragic backstory behind it. Maybe I would have appreciated Tick, Tick, Boom more. But actually having watched Tick Tick Boom first, it gave me a really good basis for Rent. So I knew where that came from. And again, the kind of tragic um, backstory surrounding the creator's life and work. I won't go into any detail about that backstory because, um, well, watch Tick Tick Boom. I do I do recommend it if you don't know anything about Jonathan Larson as, as I didn't. Um, but this is obviously a film version of his production Rent. And it's about the Bohemians in the East Village of New York City struggling with life, love and AIDS and the impact they have on America. I've directly lifted that from IMDb. Any musical that's going to deal with the topic of AIDS is going to be powerful. It's going to be challenging to watch at times. It's going to be emotional and it's going to be real. And I applaud it for that. It sets out what it wants to do. And I do think it does it well. It gets messages across. There are moments of triumph when people come together and you get that sense of unity and people working together and fighting for the cause and, and various other causes as a collective rather than as an, as an individual. And it works really well. So the narrative, I think, is well told. It's just not my style of story. For example, if this wasn't a musical, I don't think it would appeal to me at all. It's just not my kind of narrative. But having said that, the music itself, I was really kind of disappointed by. It was all very samey. Everything sounded very similar. There were one or two songs um, in this at one point that I thought stood out quite well. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of them. Um, but, you know, they were pretty, they were all right. None of the songs were badly sung. I just think they felt a little bit repetitive which is kind of why I can't really remember the names of them because they all kind of blended into one. There was one song though that I really liked. Um, it's the opening track and I did know the name of this one. Um, but it's the opening track in the film. You'll know exactly which one I mean. It's very interestingly staged and I can kind of see how this would be staged in the West End or on Broadway. Um, there are certain scenes in this that I would like to see how they do on stage. So that did make me kind of curious to see it. But for the most part, I just didn't really enjoy it. I didn't detest watching it. I wasn't bored, but I wasn't emotionally invested in any of the characters. I, Some of the songs moved me a little bit, but I wasn't like enamored of the soundtrack um, of the score at all. In terms of the characters, wasn't really bothered by them. Uh, Adina Menzel being in it, pretty cool. I can see the appeal. If it's your kind of thing and that's what you like, then I think you'll enjoy it because it's done it well. It's set out with a certain motive and I think it carried that across well. The choreography is pretty decent. As I said, the soundtrack for me is very samey, um, but the music is of good quality. It's just repetitively good quality, which sounds like a really good thing. Um, you know what I mean, hopefully. Rent, 
did not impress me as much as I perhaps had been told it would. It's actually lower rated on IMDb than I expected. It's only got 6.9 out of 10, which, yes, is an incredible rating. That is a very respectable rating for IMDb. But I was expecting it to have like 8 point something because it just seems that everybody who mentions it absolutely adores it. Not me. I don't think it's a bad film, but I certainly don't understand the appeal. Um, it was released in 2005. Were it released today, would it have been done differently? I don't think so. I think it would have kind of still been staged in the same way, um, choreographed in the same way, directed by Chris Columbus, and the screenplay version is by Stephen Chbosky. Um, it's not bad. I won't be watching it again. But if I ever get the chance to see it on stage, um, I probably wouldn't pay to see it. But if I ever get the opportunity to review it or somebody offers me a spare ticket, which is not likely, um, yeah, maybe I'll give it a go on stage, but I probably won't watch the film again.